Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. Corey wanted to find out if objects A to F were conductors of electricity. She set up the circuit as shown below and recorded her results in the table. Let's highlight the situations when the bulb lit up. So we have in line number 1 and line number 4. When objects A and B were in the circuit, the bulb lit up. And when objects A and C were in the circuit, the bulb also lit up like this. So the pathway that I'm highlighting now, must it be an open or closed circuit? It must be a closed circuit that allows electricity to flow through both objects, allowing the bulb to lead up. So in this case, objects 1 and 2, must they both be conductors of electricity? Yes, they both must be conductors of electricity, allowing electricity to flow through the circuit. Now, just by looking at lines 1 and 4, let's write down our confirmed conductors of electricity. We have objects A, B and C. Now, what happens if I were to change one of the objects to an insulator like this? Will the bulb still light up? No, it won't, as the insulator prevents electricity from flowing through and will create a gap like this. And stopping electricity from flowing through the bulb, and the bulb will not lit up. I'm going to put a cross at the bulb like that. So all these times when the bulb did not light up, one of the objects must be an electrical insulator. So let's take a look at row number two, when objects C and D were in the circuit. Remember, C was an electrical conductor. So what does that tell you about object D? Remember, the bulb did not light up. So D must be an electrical insulator. Now I'm going to write that in the next line here as a confirmed insulator. We have object D. Now the third row, when we have objects E and F, remember either one can be an electrical insulator. So I'm going to write a third row here for objects which could be a conductor or an insulator and I'm going to put objects E and F in this row. Now, row number five, we have objects B and E in the circuit. Remember, B was also a conductor, but yet the bulb did not light up. What does that tell you about object E? Did it allow electricity to flow through? Nope, object E must be an electrical insulator. So I can move object E from the suspected insulator to a confirmed list. Now, the last row here, we have objects D and F. Now, remember from the second row, we know D is an electrical insulator. But what can we conclude about object F? Can F be an electrical conductor? Yes, the bulb will still not light up. Now, what if object F is an electrical insulator? The bulb will still not light up. So, we still cannot confirm if object F is a conductor or an insulator. So now we can quickly fill up our answer. For question A, which of the objects can definitely conduct electricity? So our confirmed conductors of electricity are objects A, B and C. Now, which object was Carrie unable to determine if it conducts electricity? Remember, there was object F. Now, describe what Corey could do to find out if the object in B, which means object F here, conducts electricity. Now, let's erase this so that we can work on our last question. How can we confirm if object F is an electrical conductor? So here I'm going to put object F. Should I pair it with an electrical insulator or should I pair it with an electrical conductor? So remember, the easiest way to confirm an object is a conductor is if the bulb lights up. So I should pair it with an electrical conductor. Let's write that down. I'm going to test object F with a known 
conductor. And the known conductors are either object A, B, or C. So what would I expect to see if object F is a conductor of electricity? Yes, the bulb should light up because electricity can flow through the circuit, flowing through both objects and the light bulb, causing it to light up. So our observation should be, if the bulb lights up, this shows that object F, is it an electrical conductor or an insulator? It must be an electrical conductor that allowed electricity to flow through. So this shows that object F allowed electricity to flow through. And hence, a conductor of electricity. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!